Good morning. My name is Ralph Gates with Emerson Swan. Emerson Swan is a manufacturer's representative for HVAC equipment, heating, and plumbing products located in Randolph, Massachusetts. We're here this morning on Saratoga Street in East Boston, Massachusetts to review our, uh, to review our higher ductless installation. Joining me is Tim Eaton with Emerson Swan's Applied Product Division and Jason from Better Comfort Systems, the contractor that installed this project. Tim, tell me a little bit about how you got involved in this project. Uh, this project here, uh, we worked with, with Mark Tarchi from Crossfield Engineering. He decided, after looking at this project, that this would be a good fit for uh, hire. There was a very limited amount of amperage here in this project, so he, he was unable to do a conventional system, and he was really, really was wanted to go with a ductless system. You mentioned about 28 systems. Are they all single head? Are they no, multiple head? Uh, we have multiple uh, heads in, in the rooms, and the two in two bedrooms, one bedroom, and also singles in the studios. Oh, excellent. Uh, Jason, I understand you were uh, instrumental in, in the installation. Do you have any comment on how it went? Yeah, everything went pretty smooth. These are nice, easy to put in. Um, running the line sets, hanging the equipment, running, starting everything up. We got a nice 30 to 40 degree temperature differential. That's what we were aiming for. After we get that, everything has run smooth so far. That's great. So your line set lengths vary from 20 to 70 feet, I, I understand. And over 25 feet, you added the additional refrigerant and uh, everything ran fine after that. Yeah, depending on where the condensers were, we have multiple on the roof as well as on the ground floor. Um, so varying lengths, add the refrigerant, nice and easy, boom, boom, and then they start it up right away. That's great. Okay, so now we're back with the building owner and developer, Pat Bonapani of CMD Construction. So Pat, could you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the nice apartment building we've constructed here? Uh, so we've just received our certificate of occupancy. Um, it was a year one project. There were three other structures that were on the building uh, that got raised uh, sometime in May this year. Um, prior to that, we sat down with our consultants and came up with the uh, design and the mix of the buildings. This is an 18 unit building, uh, 12 studios and six one bedrooms with 10 on grade parking spots. Um, through that process, we've ran into um, a couple of glitches being in the inner city. Um, venting and amperage were two of our biggest curves that we, hurdles that we had to uh, achieve to get past it. So the first one um, was a no brainer was going with a ductless system. Um, no flues, and we did a common bathroom and kitchen exhaust. The second was uh, amperage. Um, we've only had 400 amps to work with uh, single phase, and the, pretty much the only piece of equipment that suited our needs was higher. Um, we sat down with our, our my engineer and their engineers, and they came up with um, a scope of work and how the project would um, suit the, uh, the need of hire. And, it worked. The, the units are very economical, they're efficient. Um, I was a little wary, um, being a former electrical contractor of the heating aspect being in New England, um, with those sub-zero temperatures, but besides the snow this winter, uh, it has been pretty frigid, and these units have uh, exceeded all expectations. Wow, that's fantastic. So overall, uh, from the drawing board to the install, sounds like everything went pretty well for you. So far, so good. Let's go get tenants in here now. Okay. <laughs> So, here we are on the roof overlooking the beautiful skyline of Boston where a number of the units are installed. Jason, any issues that you ran into or comments on the installation of these units? No, not really. We have 16 condensers up here serving the third and fourth floors. As you can see, we maintained proper spacing between the units and the proper height off of the ground. Um, we ran all the line sets through one common chase in between the units and one common chase in the hallway. Uh, everything went relatively smooth, no big issues whatsoever. So here we are at ground level in the alleyway between the two buildings and we have multiple higher condensing units 
that are servicing the first two floor evaporator heads. Jason, I see uh, again did a nice quality job here. Any comments on that? Um, all we had to really do was get them above the ground level specified by higher and then we ran the line sets individually into each unit. Um, everything worked pretty smoothly. Excellent. And these here were basically also um, utilizing the shorter line sets. Yes. So you didn't have to uh, top off the charge, so to speak. Only on two of the second floor did we actually have to add any refrigerant and everything else started up right away. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. So here we are outside of Saratoga Street, and I'd like to thank everybody who participated today. Pat, thank you. You have a beautiful building here. We appreciate your efforts. Jason, thank you, and yourself a better comfort system. And Tim, another good job. We're now at the offices of Crossfield Engineering in Groveland, Massachusetts, with President Mark Tachi of Crossfield. Mark, we've had the opportunity to meet with Pat and the Better Comfort Systems people who installed the Saratoga Street project. How did you first get involved with the project? Pat contacted us through a mutual contractor we had worked with over the years, probably the past 10 years or so. And I had never met Pat before, and he called and said that he had this 18-unit um, building he was doing in East Boston. Uh, it was a teardown, and it was going to be all new construction. Um, and one of the most important things to him was to go in with a system that we could value engineer, um, that we could meet his budget but still keep everybody happy in the building. Mm -hmm. um, he, he brought up using some sort of ductless heat pumps. Um, they had a model that they had their eye on and it was another manufacturer and it was, um, it was actually twice the cost, almost twice the cost as the higher system that we ended up using. Um, everybody was concerned about heat pumps because uh, the history that they have and the cold sure. climates, they, they don't keep up. Um, and, and so we went ahead with the, um, with the professional series, I believe it was, and um, uh, it wasn't meeting the competitor's product at the lower temperatures. Mm -hmm. um, so we decided to just go to the next size unit in the higher and it was still within Pat's budget. But then we were concerned about the electrical in the building because this 18 unit condominium building with a garage and common areas only had a 400 amp single phase unit. Wow. So if we started making the, um, increasing the tonnage, then uh, naturally we were afraid that we would start increasing the electrical capacity and we'd be over the size of our service. Yeah. But that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So with the competitor's product, they originally had 12s, you know, the one tonnage. Right. And then what we did was we picked the higher 18,000 MBH, and um, it was the same amperage right. as the competitor's 12. Right. So we didn't increase the overall amperage in the building, and we were able to satisfy the, um, the heat load down to 5 degrees. Right. And so, um, and, and it was still half the cost of the, the competitor. Um, and now we all know, because we went through this winter, which was an awful winter, um, that, that the product performs mm -hmm. and it came in well below budget. Excellent. Any other um, issues or um, complications that you uh, might have found along the way? Um, n no, there were some small glitches here and there regarding wiring yeah. and distances yeah. and uh, shielded wire versus unshielded. Exactly, yeah. But Hire actually sent somebody from New Jersey pretty much right away mm -hmm. when Pat was concerned that he was going to have a problem. That's and, excellent. Um, we had one conference call about it and by the end of the call Pat was happy and I think it was the following week um, they sent some people down to help with start up and I never heard anything after that. So it looks like uh, the project was a success and um, you uh, were able to draw on the, uh, the superior backup of Hire and also of Emerson Swan and um, we look forward to, uh, to many more projects and helping you out with. I understand that I'll be starting a new one with Pat uh, over the next few months so 
we're looking forward to that too. It's a deal. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate right. your effort. You're welcome, Ralph. All right. All right.